are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to one of the most beautiful and fascinating cities in the world. Edinburgh has charming old town, cobble streets and enchanting tales. So I'll be here for the next few days. I'll be exploring this beautiful city and I'll show you how you can explore this city if you are on a budget. First things first, I want to let you guys know that this video has been kindly sponsored by a and Edinburgh City. It is an amazing budget-friendly accommodation that is located minutes away from Royal Mile, right in the heart of the city. So before I move forward, I want to give you guys a room tour. The room was clean and tidy. It had all the important amenities, plug point near the bed, Yes, please. It had an ensuite and an extra bed if you're traveling with family. I love the locker facility in the room. Whether you're traveling alone or with family or with friends, at a and Edinburgh City, you can stay centrally and inexpensively. Also, I really love that there's a common kitchen and washer-dryer facility for the guests. Later in the evening, we went to check out a and bar and restaurant. I loved how friendly the staff were. We were served with delicious mocktails. I was surprised by the restaurant's vegan menu. We ordered pizza and loved the food as well as the service. So it's evening already and I'm strolling around Royal Mile. I really love Royal Mile. I feel it's like one of the most magical streets in the world. Now, one of the most uh, important thing that you need to do during evening time is exploring the closes. Now, ask me, Shanu, what's closes? I am passing through one of the closes. So throughout Royal Mile, there are several alleyways and these are known as closes. I would highly recommend just, you know, seeing all the closes and exploring exploring it because it definitely has so much to offer but explore at your own risk I'm saying this because it's said that some of these closes are haunted one of the most popular is Advocates Close this close is included in walking ghost tours of the city these tours tell the story of Johnny One Arm a local legend about a tortured man on the Royal Mile with a severed arm who grasped at those who disturbed him hmm. interesting right Honestly, if you ask me, I really love how there are so many fun things to do in Edinburgh for free of cost. Now it's time for me to call it a day. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a very beautiful Saturday morning and we have some exciting things planned. But before that, I'll go and have breakfast and then I'll be off to explore this beautiful city. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes so guys, right now we are on our way to Calton Hill. Just a small hike and we will be there. The best part about staying at AO Edinburgh City is all the major locations are so easily reachable. It's just within walking distance. So we are just walking to all the locations. So yes, let's go. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so if you're looking for some free things to do in Edinburgh City, I would highly recommend visiting Calton Hill. This hill is a free UNESCO World Heritage Site situated in central Edinburgh. It offers stunning views of the city. Not just views, but is also famous for its historic monuments. If you're looking for an affordable food spot in Edinburgh, I would highly recommend Tuk Tuk. This is an Indian restaurant and it has got a lot of vegan options as well. I love how they have incorporated Bollywood style in their decor and talking about street food. Oh, I love Pani Puri and we ordered some. I definitely loved it. The food was amazing. Now we are off to West Princess Gardens. Honestly, it is my favorite garden as it offers scenic views of the castle. If you are a photographer, then you will certainly love this place. This garden has so much to offer. Are you looking for a shopping destination where you can buy things designed by the local artists? Your search ends here. The Scottish Design Exchange is a unique social enterprise where every penny spent goes directly to those who create. 
They exist to delight customers, reward artists and boost the local economy. There are so many quirky things that I absolutely love. This is a tea light holder and it is made out of Scottish wild clay. So interesting, right? After having an amazing time at this place, I'm off to my next location. You need to add this spot to your free things to do in Edinburgh list. This is Giles Cathedral. It's so spectacular and stunning. I really love how beautiful it is. Every time I visit this cathedral, I feel like I have entered in Harry Potter world. Now back to our amazing accommodation, we enjoyed the night with some mocktails, vegan food and pool. It's day 3 here in Edinburgh and we are off to explore another gem. We are exploring the National Museum of Scotland. Again free entry and it is one of UK's top 10 visitor attractions. So my first reaction when I entered into the museum was, wow, the collections here is so diverse. You can find wonders of nature, art and design, science and technology all under one roof. If you love stars and galaxy, then you will love this place. We really love it because we are obsessed with stars and the best part was we found a meteorite from the Ice Age. Wow. We saw it for the first time and actually touched it. <laughs> now moving on, are you a Potterhead? If you are, you are going to love the Elephant House. This is the birthplace of Harry Potter. Actually, JK Rowling wrote some of her Harry Potter books here in this cafe. Unfortunately, due to recent fire incident, this building is closed temporarily. But hey, you can definitely pose outside and take some pictures. Right at the heart of the city is this magical street called the Royal Mile. It is basically built on top of a volcano. The Edinburgh Castle at the top affords panoramic views across the north and south of Edinburgh. There are several shops on the Royal Mile if you want to buy souvenir. My personal favourite is Tartan Weaving Meal. It's right near the castle and I really love all the scarves here. A secret basement shop here leads you to Hogwarts. Yes, I'm not kidding. This Harry Potter shop right in the basement is like a hidden paradise. There's so many amazing things. If you're a Potterhead, you're gonna love this place. So that was it guys. I hope you guys liked all the recommendations. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Bye for now.